It just rained and the sun is fucking out. I'm yelling and the echoes are around me. The world pushes me back onto me. Now there's the Knights of Columbus over here and I know they get fucked up in there. Be very careful when you are approaching the medieval cave art. Now we don't know what kind of creatures they had back then. As you can see, this is mystical. They had a band called Godsmack. As a young artist, there's so much pressure to sort of compromise your work. My advice to artists is to protect your love of your work. Because that's your fuel. Because that's what is going to light you on fire to do the work, to do a lot of the work, to push through the boring parts of it, or the difficult, uncomfortable parts. Over time, you can't fake passion. If you let yourself slide, to where you're only kind of doing what you like and kind of doing what other people like. It might seem like a good compromise at the time, but over time you're gonna, your passion is gonna dip. Your passion is gonna dip, and then let me tell you other things that'll happen as well. Because you went out of your way to appease other people, to one degree or another, you will successfully reach other people. Sounds good at first, but it's not. Because once those people are in your sphere, are surrounding you, they're going to want more and more of what drew them, which was a compromised version of you. When you've compromised your work like this, every form of success becomes less meaningful. You can't feel proud of yourself in the same way. It feels less special when people message you telling you that your work changed their life because you don't know anymore whether they're connecting with the real you or if you just figured out how to make popular art. Fuck the fame out there. Fuck success out there. Fuck followers out there. Try to make art that you love so much that if you found it as a viewer, it would become your favorite art. How can I combine everything that I love into this? Focus on that because the people that that attracts are gonna be worth so much more than just followers. Find your right people and talk to them, build community with them, be their friend. Work hard for them because there's nothing more valuable. My dog's company is called Croc Rings. He recycles Croc shoes into cock rings. And this Cracker Barrel sucks. This Cracker Barrel needs a fucking renovation. Holy shit. You can do lots of stuff in here. There's lots of stuff to do. I'll sit in here for about four hours and I'll just work on my poetry. My dog told me he got a John Cage tattoo. Turns out he just didn't get a tattoo. And that's what he calls a John Cage tattoo. My dog is a jackass. Interval training to help you get to hell faster, stay in hell longer. My dog keeps referring to himself as voodoo bad boy. My dog likes getting fucked by police dogs. Okay. Well, I just heard the news today. Y'all should read The Will to Change by Bell Hooks. This book will teach you about patriarchy. Patriarchy is a holistic system. When you're reading this book, you'll start to see patriarchy around you in the world everywhere because patriarchy is not just blatant forms of individual sexism. Patriarchy is in the way that men feel the need to present themselves all the time. It's in the subtle dynamics between men and women and between men and other men and between parents and their children. Discipline, strictness, punishment. This book helps you to see patriarchy holistically and that will help you enormously in seeing where things need to change in this world and it'll help you be an agent of positive change as you go through life. So please check out this book, Bell Hooks, The Will to Change. It's amazing. I also recommend pretty much every other work by Bell Hooks. Back up, I'll take you